Onzuma and Lucas Monteverdi. Also for Argentina, nine goals on Indivia. For Idris, Sultan Idris will be starting off for Manchita. Pato Neves on Madonna. Pioni on Gumu on Azul. And Tito Rizkinazu on the little stallion, Severong. So the two teams lined up there on the far side. The umpires out there on the field will be Peter Wright and Tim Bann. And the third man being JJ Alberti. Peter Wright just calling for a little bit of order there. Looking for a bit of a gap, somewhere to bowl this ball in. Bowl, ball into play. In the melee it is, looking for this hide once more. Hide, caught a bit of a mallet on the helmet there. It looked like by Hyde on Immaculata's away again. Avoids the hooking play. Hyde, he's on the move once more. Young Hyde's on the way. Flicks that one in field. Just has to come back round onto this one once more in front of Tito. Tito comes in, spoils his play on that near side play. And it falls now for Pionri. Pionri on Gumu, on Gumu. On the ball here now. On Gumu making the turning play in front of Monteverdi. Pionri on Azul. Pionri out towards the... Hotel side out just short of the halfway line with Benoit. Benoit comes in, plays a backhand, didn't get the distance, but it falls now for it, it, oh, for the backhand of Lucas. Stopped by Tito. Tito on the ball here now. Tito. Tito is going to Tito flicks that one up forward here now. Tito. Tito and Lucas come together. Tito picks his ball up once more. Keeps his ball moving forward. Keeps it moving forward. He just gets stopped in his tracks there. And the big backhand, the swirling play comes in. On the near side comes Benoit. Benoit on the move here now. He's got Tito in behind him. Go, go and try to keep moving that one forward. Tito get, reaching a long way back to try and pick it up. Hyde comes onto the play here now. I think Hyde gets hooked off out of it there by Pato. Pato Neves on the move here now. Pato Neves. Pato. Pato Neves going goalward bound. Flicks that one up into the air. Waits his ball just to set a little bit and comes in towards the goal here. Pato Neves looks to move this one away. And through the goals it is. So we're all tied up here now. One goal apiece. So the two teams line up there on the far side on umpire right once more. Right, bowls the ball into play, into play it is at the back of the line out. Tito looking to come onto this one here. Tito is going to do. Just checks, looks to come back inside once more. Tito back onto the ball it is again. Tito is going to do. Tito on Semarong. In behind comes Patton the Vez to give him a little bit of support. Tito on the ball. Tito. Keeps it coming up, goes the other side of Benoit. 
Tito goes with the driving shot. He's got a high lofted drive up there, up the front door it is, and it's falling now. In come the backhand of Lucas Monteverdi. He goes that one out towards the side. Hyde trying to get onto this one here. Takes it away there from in front of Pato. Hyde looking to open it up here now on Immaculada, looking to stretch. Benoit looking to stretch, Pato Neves goes on the move, avoids the hook this time. I think he's lost ahead of his mallet on that one there. As the ball just comes in towards the middle field for Pato Neves to clear away there for either this one small. Pato, Pato on the ball, Pato, Pato on the move, Pato, Pato. Flicks that ball up forward, up past Monteverdi on this here now. Pato going goalward bound, Pato Neves going goalward bound on this here. Pato, 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 Pato puts another one through the goals there for Idris. Two goals it is now to Idris. So, hi, just quickly changing ponies. Off in Maquilada. Toss to come back out later on to Buenos Suerte. As we also have Lucas Monteverdi changing ponies as well on the Galocha. And the ball's back into play. Back into play it is. Backhand comes in there by Pato. Pato sends it out, tries to get that one up, but it's only as far as Monteverdi. Monteverdi being pressurised there. He doesn't get the backhand he was looking for on that one, couldn't pick it up. Shaker Mathe just clears that one away there. Biffed up for Hyde once more. Hyde just gets met by Neves. Comes up past. Hyde flicks that one away. Very clever play with Montito there, indeed it was. He turns around, keeps on moving forward, keeps it moving forward. Avoids of Pato, and he goes up on the move here. Looks to reach out a long way, but Pat and Tito gets the better of him on that one there. The next shot comes in by Pato. Pato has to come back, collect it's another bite of the cherry this one here Neves Neves on the ball Neves looking to make a play loses side of the ball on that one there Tito being worked on there but Tito comes away with the ball here Tito Tito on the ball goes with the driving shot sends this one up to the front door here this time and it is Sultan Idris on the move here now Sultan Idris he's left that one there goes a little bit wide scooped away there by Benoit from Pato Benoit Benoit goes one way, comes the other way, going deep down to his own territory, keeps the ball on the near side, plays the backhand, spreads the play, comes round through in the opposite direction here. And the first onto this is going to be Idris. Idris takes his ball further forward here now. So Idris just leaves that ball here now for Pierre Ongumu. Ongumu turns back inside. Ongumu flicks it now behind for, Pat for Tito. Tito looks up at the goal and sends a driving shot into that one there. But it looks like it's only going as far as Monteverdi. Monteverdi clearing that one away there for the UE once more. Out for the young Englishman, Jack Hyde on here. Checks up, comes back inside the six goaler. Hyde unleashes one there. Sends out a beautiful shot up the front door here now. Shaker Mather going back there with Tito. Shaker Mather going up onto the ball here now. Shaker Mather sends a lovely driving shot in towards the goal. But it's a little bit wide to right. Just to just check up the play and go for the big next shot here now. Goes with a tail shot to keep it away there from Tito. But Tito just comes on the line of the ball here now, Tito, Tito comes on the ball, Tito flicks it away there from Benoit, leaves it now in turn for Pionri on Azul, Pionri drives it up here now for Tito, just up short of the halfway line, Lucas Monteverdi just being kept off it as Tito comes up onto the play here now, Tito sends the driving shot up the middle of the field once more, trying to get this one up for Pionri, waiting for that ball to come down, Pionri gathers momentum once more on Azul, goes under the neck here, keeping this one away, but only as far as Monteverdi, he goes with this ball, Monteverdi Monteverdi on the ball here. Monteverdi scoops it away underneath his neck, pony's neck here. Monteverdi turns back through around the other way. reggie has got the horse, the pony, make the play here now. Monteverdi on the move. Monteverdi's on the move here now. There goes the first hooter, ladies and gentlemen. And he sends the driving shot up the front door once more. For Shaker Mather and either is to come onto the ball here now. Mather up onto the ball. Mather drives that one in towards the goal. It's going goalward bound. She's got Idris to try and hook her off out the play. The hook comes in, the backhand comes in there. By Pionri on Azul, there's nobody onto it, but he's back onto it quickly, back onto it, here he is, and onto the play, and it is now Tito Rizkinazu on the ball here, Tito, Tito makes the driving shot, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen, that there will end the chucker. So the trick team is off the field to play here now. We're going to change ponies. It's off the leaders. On to Leolia. Pato on the mass side. Pionri on to get black. And Tito to get on to Gondola. Mather to get on to Patricia. Jack to get on to Gola. And Matthias.
So the two teams making their way out onto the field here now. We'll be starting in with a roll in from the inside out. Neves once more, Neves, Neves, Neves up over the halfway line it is, back on Neves, looks on load it, can't do so, checking up on the play here is Jack Hyde, a good strong backhand there by Hyde, putting Tito onto it here now, being chased by Monteverdi, Monteverdi comes in, trying to make a spoiling play on this one here, gets the better of the backhand, sends a backhand in towards the middle of the field, looking to open up this once more, Pierre-Henri comes up onto the ball here now, Pierre-Henri on get black, Pierre-Henri, 
Brian Reed on the ball, checks up on the play, just over halfway. He helped Benoit to get past, he goes up past Benoit on this one here. Monteverdi's just sitting waiting for it there. The passing shot goes in there. The ball's going goalward bound, goalward bound, goalward bound it is there. And he doesn't even have to finish it off. It's just shadowed in there by Pat Anavez. Another goal on the ball there for Idris. Three goals it is now to Idris. One goal to the UAE. So lining up there on umpire right on the far side. Right, bowls the ball in. Out it comes from the line out. Neves onto the ball here now with Hyde in pursuit. Hyde goes in there, hooks him off out the play, gets a clever little backhand as well, looking to set up. Lucas, but the backhand comes in. Lucas stops the backhand of Tito. Lucas on the play here now. Lucas opens it up, gets hooked off out of that one there. Benoit comes through onto the ball here now. It is Matthias Benoit. Benoit, Benoit leaves that ball there behind for Lucas Monteverdi. Gets it stolen off him there though by Pionri. Pionri on the move here now. Leaves the ball, gets called off it. Leaves it for Tito. Tito on the move. Monteverdi's off the field, changing manage. So we got Tito just up over the halfway line here. Tito up on the ball here now. And it is going to be Shaker Mate that comes, spoils the play on the backhand, but we get a whistle on the play. So the ball's being teed up there for a penalty here now for Idris being teed up by Tito Rizginazu on the 40 yard line. Retiring back behind their goals is the UAE. They may come across this one. Tito drives, he shoots, Lucas looks to stop that one and he does, he plucks it out the air. Oh, an interception there by Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas on the ball here now. Lucas settles down on that one, sends a driving shot out towards the middle of two fields, but it looks like it is going to be Pionri. Gets onto that one first, a little bit of a backhand by him, it's sent further in there by Pato Neves, scurrying back for it once more is Monteverdi. Monteverdi on the ball here now. Monteverdi clearing this one away out towards the side for Benoit to come onto the ball here now. Benoit and Pionri. Benoit, Benoit picks the ball up, Benoit. Bits get stolen off them there by Pierre Henry. Pierre Henry on get black going across the back line here now. Pierre Henry, Pierre Henry over the top of that one there. And Benoit just clearing it away once again. And first round onto this one here is going to be Shaker Matha. Shaker Matha goes first time with the next shot on it there. But it's now sent further out the field by Benoit, feeding Monteverdi. Monteverdi and checks up on the play, allowing Tito to go up past him. But in comes a backhand, spoiling play there. Oh, Pato Neves is picked up here now by Jack Hyde. Jack Hyde feeds that one up now for Monteverdi. Lost in the play there. And we get a whistle on the play. <laughs> So it looks like we're going to have a penalty here now in favour of the UAE. With Lucas Monteverdi just teeing the ball up. It's been moved up to a 40 yard penalty. With Idris retired back behind their line, circling around on the ball here now is Lucas Monteverdi on Lucius. He drives, he shoots, this one's clear through there. No stopping that one. Oh, we have an indecision there from the goal judges. One says it's through, one says it's not. And the ball's going to be placed down the back line for the ball to be brought back into play by Idris. No goal.
Tito is going to do on Gondola. Brings the ball in here now. Tito taps it forward once. Goes again with this ball here. Sends it up there. Tries to get this one up here. Gets a good shot up there, but he couldn't get that one up there. It's now left here for Lucas. Lucas Monteverdi onto the ball. Lucas. Lucas sends a little backhand. Trying to feed Benoit onto it. Benoit comes up onto the ball. Benoit stops his tracks. Leaves a little backhand there for Monteverdi, but we get a whistle on the play. So Lucas Monteverdi opting to get off Lucius. And it looks like the umpires are going to travel this one forward. Up for a 60 yard penalty, a penalty four now in favour of Idris. To be teed up there by Tito Rizkinazu. Tito is going to do second round of the ball here now. Tito, he drives, he shoots, he puts that one go about, but it looks like that one's just gone wide to the left as well. So the ball will be placed down the back line once more. To be brought in by Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas. Three goals it is to Idris, one goal it is to the UAE. Lucas, his ball just gets stolen there by Pato. Near side backhand by him. Coming back onto this one here, though, it's going to be Lucas and Tito. Lucas, Lucas plays the backhand, cuts this one back in, but it's only as far this time as Pato. He gets hooked off out of it. Stealing the ball now is Monteverdi. Monteverdi on the ball, tries to cut that one up. Couldn't get onto that one there, but it looks like it's going to be Monteverdi. Monteverdi comes to pick this ball up here now. Well, I think we get another whistle on the players. Pionri trying to steal that one away from underneath his nose. So we have 2.01 on the clock here, here in the second chucker. So the ball's being teed up there by Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas on the ball here now. Goes with the driving shot, sends that one up the front door there this time. Lucas Monteverdi's ball there. Jacob Mata working hard there with Sultan Idris comes onto it, can't get onto it there. But the backhand clearing it away there. And it's only as far as time has been why the backhand comes in by Tito. Tito makes a quick turning play on it. But it looks like it is going to be Pato Neves. Neves out towards the hotel side. Neves. Neves on the move. Neves coming up the middle of the field is Benoit just to close the angle down. Tres a bit kicks off the back of the horse, but we get a whistle on the play. So the ball's being teed up now for a penalty by Tito Riz going to do for Idris. Tito circles around here now. Tito goes with a little half shot, dribbles this one in. Is it going to carry all the way? He's going to blow that one if he has to, just to push it all the way through the goal. And it just trickles over the line. I'm sure his heart was in his mouth at that point in time, but it doesn't matter because it's four goals now to Idris. One goal to the UAE. <laughs> Thank you.
So two teams lining up once more on the far side there on umpire right. Change again, it's up by right, bowls that ball in, the ball into play. Out the back of the line, out nice and clean, it's for Tito. Tito goes out of the neck with that one, but leaves the ball behind. First onto it, there's going to be Hyde. Hyde on the move here now. It is Jack Hyde, checks up on the play. Hyde, Hyde, Tito comes to him, leaves the ball now for Lucas. Lucas flicks that one away there from Pierre-Henri, but his horse kicks it and pushes up there for Hyde once more. But Pato comes in, leaves it once more, and is now left for Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas Monteverdi looks up at the goal and sends a driving shot in towards the goal, but it goes wide, wide to the left. So the score remains the same. Four goals this Idris, one goal to the UAE. So 18 seconds left on the clock before the first two to goes. For Tito Rizkunazu to bring this back into play once more. Tito. On the ball here now. Just a matter of seconds before the first two to goes. And in goes the ball. Up it is now for Monteverdi. Monteverdi on the ball once more. There goes the first two to get on side. It's stolen off in there by Tito. In turn, over the top of that one there. But this time it's going to Pierre Henri. Flashes quick as flash on Pulga. Sends the driving shot up the middle of the field here now. And this side backhand comes in there by Monteverdi. Monteverdi's ball gets intercepted there by Pato Neves. Neves goes with the driving shot. Looks to feed this one back through to the front door once again. But coming on to it here on the near side play. Gets hooked off out of it assault. And it is now left for Pato. Pato Neves comes forward on it. And it's just left now for Monteverdi to clear that one away for the OEE. Out towards here at the side for Hyde. Hyde goes under the neck here with this one. Looking to clear this one away here now. And there goes the Hooter, ladies and gentlemen, for the end of the second chucker with the score being four goals to Idris, one goal to the OEE. And in this third chucker, we will have Sultan's going on in. Battles come out on the net. The only come back out on Azul. Tito come out on Poisha. And so I'm going to shake the Mazel, come out on Casuela. Jack Hyde will come out on Alagata. Matias to come out on Garon. And Lucas to come out on Tota. Santiago Sterling looks to straighten that one up, looks to straighten it up, he does, but again comes the backhand, but it's not quite enough and it goes through. Monteverdi and he's just tripping this ball all the way through, he's got Acuna there in front of him, round comes Monteverdi to try and spoil the play, but it looks like he's going to carry this one all the way and he does, he puts another one on the board there. Acuna's put the pressure on him, picks this ball up on the near side, as cool as you like, and puts another one on the board there for Vindry. Here comes Manolo Fernandez, Llorente at momentum, goes up past Acuna on this one here, can he get this next shot in, goes with a big driving next shot in towards the goal and an amazing goal there. So the two teams coming back out on the field to play here now to get things underway and we're starting off with a roll in where the second who went. As I said, with the Highland Shaker Mather to come out here on Casuela, Jack to come out here on Albagata, Matthias to come out on Garon, and Lucas to come out on Torta, Sultan to come out on Manin, Pato to come out on Danette, Pionri on Samuera, this little grey mare, and Tito to come out on Poesia.
teams line up here now on umpire Bowen. Lining up here on umpire Bowen. Well, it's looking for a little bit of gap to get this ball ball back into play, back into play it is. In the middle of the line now, Shekin Mehta looking for that ball there, trying to push away through and it's now Hyde, Hyde, and Pato Neves, Hyde, just half hooked off out of the play there by Tito, Tito's backhand but only as far as Lucas, Lucas Monteverdi on the turning play here now, Lucas, Lucas on the move, Lucas sets, sends Benoit up out there in the front, out the front there, setting up there for Shekin Mehta up on this near side, picks the ball on the near side, cruelly ricochets off the pony's back leg there, but it's now Tito Rizginazu, Rizginazu, on on the near side, sends the backhand out there, looking to set up Pierre Henri, he's over the top of that one there, leaving it for Pato, Pato on the ball here now, Pato scooping this ball away, Pato gets hooked off out of the play, leaving the ball once more for Lucas Monteverdi, Monteverdi opens this one up here now, but the first home onto this one is going to be Pierre Henri. Hooked off out of it there by Hyde, leaving it now for, Mathia, for, for Lucas, but his backhand of Pato just spoiling the players. Coming up on the ball once again is Tito. Tito sends a big neck shot out the front door there with Pato Neves absolutely flying through here but going back onto this one first. Looks like it's going to be Benoit. Benoit takes it down across out away from the danger area of the goals here now. Gil gets called off, leaves it, leaves it for Monteverdi. Monteverdi sends the backhand looking to send this one up the field here but first of all back onto it is going to be Pionri. Pionri on somewhere. Pionri. Checks up the play, looks to come back inside, coming on to it though is Hyde, Hyde steals that one off him, Hyde, Hyde on the move here, in turn gets that flicked away from him there, by Pato, Pato's backhand, looking to set up, Oop, and we have Tito trying to get onto it, but Hyde's back onto it once more, Hyde, Hyde, goes under the neck here now, Hyde being chased by Neves, Pat Hyde, Neves called off it, leaves it now for Monteverdi, Monteverdi drills one up the middle of the field, but once again we have Pionri closing the back door there for Idris once more, Pionri, Pionri tries to pick this ball up on Samira Khan, leaves it now for Tito, Tito gets ridden off that play there by Hyde, Hyde flicks his ball forward, well worked on there, the young three goaler from England, gets called off it, leaves it for Benoit, Benoit, Benoit flicks that one away underneath Tito. Tito has no play on it. Asks for the call. Asks for the play. Does Lucas Monteverdi. Monteverdi up onto the ball here now. Checks up. He's got Pierre Henry in front. In comes the spoiling play once more of Neves. It gets flicked up forward by Benoit. And it's just sent out further once more. But we get a whistle on the play. So the umpires just discussing this one here now. An interesting passage of play. Was the player across the line when he made the play? And the second possibility is was he crashed into unnecessarily? So quickly changing once again, we have young Jack Hyde. Changing on to Villadera. And the ball's being moved up for a 40 yard penalty, it looks like, a penalty three in favour of Idris here now as the UAE have to retire back behind their line. Umpires deeming there's a little bit of over exuberance there in trying to claim the line. And Pato Neves on to Nirvana. Dale a los de abajo si está la televisión para subir. So Tito. La están cargando. Circular on the ball here now. Footy up penalty here for Idris. Tito, he strikes it. It looks like that one's clean over the top this time, but wide once more it is. Wide to the right. So the score remains the same. Four goals it is to Idris. One goal to the UAE. <laughs> Being brought back in now by Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas Monteverdi on the ball here now. Lucas turns back, tucks in the other way. Just having to yield off that one. Picking this ball up here is Benoit. Benoit plays a little backhand. Just leaving it for Monteverdi once more. Monteverdi amounts an attack and sends it out there for Benoit once more. Matthias Benoit. Matthias 
but trying to avoid the play of Pato. Pato unable to get this backhand off. It is Benoit once more. Benoit onto the play. Benoit keeps control of it here now with Tito being kept off it momentarily there by Hyde. And it is Benoit once more on the near side. Benoit, Benoit. Keeps his ball moving forward, comes on the stick side here, this time he gets ridden off out of it, and Tito looks to come onto this play here now, and Tito plays a good backhand out towards the boards once more, but only as far as Lucas Monteverdi turning the play on Torta. Lucas flicks it away there from Pato on Nirvana. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas comes round, in comes Pato, looks to make a spoiling play, can't get the play off Lucas though, Lucas keeps control of the ball, he's got Tito out there in front of him, flicks, pulls it back, flicks it forward, and then comes Pierre-Henri, meets the two players, and we get a whistle on the play. So Tito just takes advantage of the situation to quickly go and change Bernie off here. Looking like getting on to French Knight. The English thoroughbred mare. There's the ball's teed up there by Lucas Monteverdi on the 30 yard line. But I'm going to shake a to change. Or Casamuela, most probably on to Faluccio. Faluccio, a little grey stallion that came from Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas drives, he shoots, he puts a beautiful one through the goal there. Two goals it is now to the UAE, four goals it is to Idris. As Lucas just quickly opts to go and change ponies. Most probably onto Salinas here now as they scurry their way back towards the middle of the field. And yeah, Shaker Mather is coming out on Galoccia, this stallion that was bred by Lucas Monteverdi. So, ball quickly back into play. The backhand comes in by Benoit, looking to feed that one up for Lucas Monteverdi. Monteverdi up onto it here now. Lucas, Lucas up on the ball. Hyde just having to yield off that one a little bit now of his own teammate that goes up through. Tries to flick that ball up through there for Hyde, but he, Hyde and Rizkinazu go back onto this ball here. It looks like it's going to be Tito back onto it. First place, the backhand. The backhand comes in, looking to feed this one up here for Pionri. Pionri and Lucas come together hard well on that one there, leaving it for Pato. Battles play, just gets spoiled a little bit there, and it's now left once more for Pierre-Henri. Pierre-Henri just tucks this one back inside once again. Pierre-Henri looking to make a play up alongside the boards here now. Gets up past Benoit on this one here. Benoit comes back with him as well. Benoit on the near side, flicks that one away. Whoop, a bit of a slip and a stumble there by Pierre-Henri. But in comes Hyde. Hyde comes in, we get a whistle on the play. So Pierre Henry is just quickly changing ponies. But at the same time, we have a 30 yard penalty now in favour of Idris. Being teed up there by Tito and Pato. And it's going to be Pato Neves to take this one on Nirvana. Pato, he drives, he shoots, it's high, it's lofted. And it's gone straight through the goals here this time. So there's another one on the board there for Idris. Five goals it is now to Idris. Two goals to the OEE here in the third chucker with 1.45 left on the clock to play before we go into half time. So far right, just lines two teams up, bowls that ball in, ball gets stuck in the melee, Benoit on the ball, Benoit, 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 up on the ball here now, gets it, leaves that ball now here for 
Pato comes around to try and steal the ball off Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas Monteverdi threads that one up through here now. But the first back onto is going to be Tito. You see Hyde just kept off out of the play there. They realise they've got to keep an eye on this young man, but it is now Tito. Tito makes a play. Tito. Once more, keeps moving this ball forward. He's unchallenged, he can keep driving this one. He makes a driving shot, sends that one up the field here this time. Tries to get this one up for Neves. Neves tries to get it forward, but he can't. Benoit just hooks him off out of that one there and leaves the ball now for Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas Monteverdi making the turning play. Lucas looking to send the troops up further forward. This time, goes with the driving shot, sends that one up there, tries to get this one up in a while, in a while, gets ridden off out of it there by Tito. Pato comes in with the backhand, cuts that one out towards the boards, but only as far as Hyde. Hyde, oh, a little bit of indecision if he was going forward or backwards with that one there. And so he goes in, keeps Tito off out of the play. Tito gives him the slip. He gets a little bit of cane on that one there, and it falls now for Monteverdi. Lucas Monteverdi gathers this ball, pricks it forward. Monteverdi makes a turning play in front of Tito on that one there, makes a driving shot, sends it up here now, looks to put this one up the front door, but the first back onto this one is going to be Sultan Idris. Sultan Idris, a good clear back clearing backhand there by Sultan. Looking to get this one up now for Pionri, but it's Benoit comes onto the line here first. Benoit flicks his ball one way, tries to flick it away another way, couldn't get onto that one. And we have... Ben Benoit going towards the goal, Benoit, Benoit straighten the pony up, Benoit, Benoit, Benoit puts another one away there for the UAE. Three goals it is now to the UAE, five goals it is to Idris. If the two teams leave the field to play, we're going to half time. Everybody this time can be upstanding. I'll make the way out onto the polo field so we can go and tread in a few divots. Thank you very much. Successfully, we, uh, we took the land, we started construction, we signed with the St. Regis Hotel. There is a relation between Polo and St. Regis, so there will be the boutique hotel in the middle of the field. So we will also have uh, the demand for the stables in Dubai. We will bring 520 stables, and uh, now we're standing on one of the barns out of the 10. Each barn has 52 stables. Five tack rooms, two stores, and an apartment at the top, which can be for the polo manager and uh, the professionals also. They can stay also. Yeah, I'm trying to, to see. The uh, plus uh, four uh, paddock are included in the package of uh, one bar in case. Bueno, acá estamos con J. Chaban, eh, uno de los jugadores claves de Mara, eh, el tercer equipo que está en la semifinal de la Copa de Oro. ¿Y? La verdad que no lo puedo creer todavía. Eh, nada, re contento. Eh, una, fueron tres. Batalla y por suerte pudimos zafar. Eh, ¿No es la primera vez que venís a jugar acá? Mm, no, es la segunda vez. Antes había venido hace cinco años con Sedan, después vine el año pasado con Edres y este año con Mara, tercera vez. ¿Y es la primera que estás en una instancia así similar o, o ya sí. te ha tocado? Sí, primera vez semifinal de la Copa de Oro. Contame un poquito el ánimo del equipo, porque vienen de, de dos o tres partidos que lo vienen levantando, o sea, el, el ánimo... Están primeros en no, la tabla. <risa> estamos, estamos como locos. Eh, en medio de lo mismo, mucha buena onda y no aflojamos nunca. Aunque vayamos perdiendo por mucho, le seguimos metiendo todo lo que podamos y si perdemos, perdemos y si ganamos, nada, esto. Eh, en el suplementario, antes de entrar al suplementario, muchos dicen el primer equipo que llega es como que le, le está poniendo presión al... Ustedes llegaron, o sea, aparecieron en la cancha después que ellos, cuando ellos estaban ahí. ¿Dice algo, cosas así, o ustedes están en la de ustedes y no le importa más nada? La verdad que no sabíamos mucho a qué nos íbamos a subir. Yo mandé a preparar una y cuando eh, estábamos para salir a la cancha hablando un poco ahí con los chicos, me convencieron de que me suba a otro. Así que estábamos, en eso, en los estábamos caballos, más concentrados a ver a qué nos subíamos que, que a pensar si estaban ellos antes o nosotros. ¿Hubo algo, de, planearon algo? Porque estaban a, nada, cinco yardas del arco de ellos. O sea, no sé si, si había mucho para planear o tirarse no, arriba la bocha. En realidad, la no, medio, medio lo mismo que el negro nos trata de decir siempre, prolijos, prolijos, hombre con hombre. Tuvimos un poco de suerte que la pelota les queda a ellos, pero apuntando un poco para allá. Y después fue medio una mezcolanza que salió con más suerte para nosotros. Y el taqueo de Isidro que nos sí. metió ese bolsito para terminar. ¿Había jugado con el negro novillo antes? Eh, no. Nunca, primera vez. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Qué les dice? Nada. No es de, muy, de mucho hablar, pero eh, algo dirás. Novillo, mucho orden, mucho <risa> orden y disciplina, que justo con los dos compañeros que le pusieron, <risa> somos más otra cosa que eso, pero nada, después de dos meses 
creo que de rato lo podemos entender lo que nos dice y, y creo que se ve reflejado un poco. Eh, ¿Saben quién les toca? Más o menos lo tienen. Calculo que nos toca a Vindray, a no ser que UAE gane por, por cinco. ¿Ya le han jugado a Vindray? Le jugamos y nos ganaron. Nos venían ganando por mucho, al final nos acercamos, nos terminaron ganando por uno en Gantut. Es tirarte la, las patas de, de, de Terrera. Puede pegarle un tiro a Terrera, <risa> si podemos dejarlo ciego a Rauli y nada, más o menos eso. Bueno, suerte en las semis y espero que, que te vea en la final. Bueno, muchísimas gracias. Espectacular. Gracias. And an apartment in the top, which can be for the Apollo manager and uh, the professionals also. They can stay also closer to their horses. Plus, uh, four uh, paddock are included in the package of uh, one barn in case of one Polo organization take the whole barn. So they can accommodate their professional, their paddocks are here, plus 52 horses, all their stores, everything is, is uh, available in one uh, place. I will not move any horses here, whether for me or for any other patterns, unless I secure some areas to have more safety for the horses. So we're, we're waiting for another two barns, which is, there will be 156 uh, stables, then I will seal the area and keep it as an island by itself, so the horses, even if a horse escape, still it's uh, protected, not within the construction material and metal and cars, trucks. Be a little bit dangerous. In September, we will have the whole facility 100% ready. We will open the St. Regis in October, in October uh, next year. This is uh, the plan. There is a one month delay, they say November. I'm pushing them for October because I want to start in the season. And if it doesn't happen in October, one month delay is not a big deal. I want to open St. Regis, like with the same facilities, services, everything. I don't want to open something with not good service and uh, not ready. So I want to provide to customers really the best uh, quality of uh, us as Al Habtour Group. We are uh, experienced in hospitality. We've been doing hotels from the 70s. We've been running our own hotels. Association with St. Regis and the rest also help us. We want to provide the best for them. And having uh, the standard of the St. Regis, and we're not only talking about polo now, because we have to cater also for other equestrian facilities. We have the show jumping, we have, we have the dressage. Also, we have a polo academy. But polo academy, not really for a minus two, will be more of a person who is already knows how to play polo, at least as a beginner, and then we advance him. As you can see that uh, this is our first track. We started uh, a couple of weeks ago. Now we're trying to level uh, the tracks and put some boundaries so we can keep also the sand in the same uh, place. In the middle here, where you can see the different uh, color of uh, sand, here we will have uh, 10 uh, horse, uh, horses uh, walkers. Each one take 10, so we can exercise 100 uh, horses in the same time here in, uh, in, in the walker. And the track, this is not the only track. I know that we have 520 but this is one of the tracks we have. This is actually the medium size, and then on the other side of the of uh, the land, we have another also track there, which is uh, almost double the size of the Hello. Guys, uh, Greg, I'm gonna have a little bit for two jackasses. Maybe. Okay, now in the middle, the old, uh, the eight farms, because we have 10, 8 are the new shape and then we have two for the short parts. Uh, so parts are like uh, made of all planning inside. The fact he wasn't, didn't even charge, it was dead. When we first semi tried to put, switch it on. Yeah. 
So the two teams back out on the field to play to get the second half of this match underway with the score being three goals to the OE, five goals to Idris it is. With an umpire bound, just lining these two top two teams up. Hino Shaker Matha. Out here on Vintrishka. Looking for it there is Pato. Pato goes up past one, gets hooked off it and small stolen there by Monteverdi. Monteverdi tries to make the turning play, leaves it for Hyde. Hyde flicks it out once more for Lucas. Lucas on the ball here now. Ricochets off the pony. Benoit couldn't get onto it, but Hyde comes up onto the play here now. Hyde. Hyde on the ball. Hyde gets met there. And the, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit scrappy in the middle there of the field. And we finally get a whistle on the play. So Shaker Mayer is out there on Vitrisca. Jack is out there on Asasoda. Matthias Benoit out there on Mango. And Lucas Monteverdi on Levina. <laughs> For Sultan Idris, Phoebus, Pato out here on Yinda. Pionri back on Azul and Tito on Semarong. And we have a penalty here now in favour of Idris. Just inside their half, as Tito is going to do circles round once more. Tito taps the ball forward. Keeps his ball moving forward, goes with a big driving shot, sends that one up the middle field, comes off the back of the pony here, we leave it now for Monteverdi. Monteverdi, Rose has got the pressure on him. Oh, and it's a swing and a miss there by Monteverdi. And up goes Tito Rizkinazu, looking to capitalise on this one here. Tito up on the near side. Tito goes under the neck here with this one and puts a beautiful goal away there for Idris. Six goals, Idris it is now. Three goals to the OAE. So, Tim Bann will line the two teams up once more. 6-3 is the score. 5.50 on the clock it is. Here in this fourth chucker. A bit of a gap, bowls the ball in. Tito comes off with this one here. Tito and Lucas go hard on it. Lucas gets a bit of the right off there. This time gets the backhand, sends his one up, tries to get a high, but first back onto it is going to be Pionri. Pionri, he has a swing and a miss as well at that one there. We're coming onto it is going to be Tito. Tito comes onto it in front of Benoit, sends a backhand, looking to set up Pionri. Pionri comes up on the near side here. We're going to slip inside Lucas. Lucas plays the near side backhand only as far as Tito onto that one there, but it's now Benoit. Benoit plays the backhand. The ball scurries forward once more, and we have a whistle on the play. And the ball's being teed up there by Lucas Monteverdi. And it looks like we have a penalty here now in favour of the UAE from the spot. And we just have Sultan Idris off the field changing ponies. I think his pony was a little bit lame. So Sultan Idris comes back onto the field of play here, back onto Gattiada. So Lucas Monteverdi circling around on the ball here now. Riding to Vida. This of course being the Gold Cup champion pony of the British Open last year. Sends that one up there, tries to get it to Hyde. Hyde loses a bit of momentum on him. It comes up past Hyde for Pionri. Pionri sends a backhand. Backhand, half cut out there by Benoit. First onto this one here is going to be Tito Rizkinazu. Tito, Tito on the ball. Tito, 
Tito tries to pluck that one forward, but it's now picked up by Binwar. In comes Patanaves to cause havoc and wreath, wreath reap destruction once again, but it is now once again. Jack Hyde off out with it here now. Jack, boat ball, flicks off the pony here now. Onto his Benoit. Benoit turns this one back inside. Tito just has to yield off that one, leaving the ball now for Lucas. Lucas tries to send that one through, can't do so. Sends the next shot up the field once more. But it looks like it's going to be Pironri covering the ground well once more here for this Idris team. Taking it out there, across towards the boards on the far side of the field, taking the play in front of Benoit. Turning the play on Azul is Pionri. Pionri up over the halfway line. Pionri looks to make the driving shot, couldn't do so. The next on to this one here is going to be high. Picks it up on the near side, comes up on the stick side, gets hooked off out of it there by Tito as he wanted to play the backhand. But he's going to be Benoit coming to try and clean it up. But Hyde's come back out with this one once again. Hyde, Hyde cracks one up the middle of the field here this time. It looks like it's going to be Pato Neves first onto this one here. Pato under the neck here this time. Neves, Neves on the near side, gets called off it by Tito. Tito settles down on the play. Benoit comes back to him now. Tito. Tito on the ball once more. Keeps this ball moving forward. Goes to the driving shot. Sends it up here now. Looks to get that one up there for Sultan. Sultan just loses a bit of momentum. Tries to pick the ball up on the other side. Able to do so, but it's now Lucas. Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas on the ball here once more. Lucas. Lucas. Lucas Monteverdi over the top of that one there. Leaves it now for... Benoit, Benoit making the turning play. Pierre-Henri comes in, make the spoiler. Benoit on it once more. Benoit. 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 Keeps his ball moving forward. He's got Tito out there in front of him. Benoit keeps the ball moving forward. Keeps it solid. Keeps it safe. In behind him comes Lucas. Leaves the ball now for Lucas. Lucas drives this one up the front door here this time. Sends it out in towards the middle of the field there for Shaker Mesa to come up onto the line. The ball gets called off it now for Benoit. Benoit on the play now. Benoit going goal with bound. Benoit, can he just pluck this one away? Can he put it away? Yes, he can. And a beautiful goal there by Matthias Benoit for the UAE. Taking the score now. Four goals, UAE. Six goals to Idris here in the fourth chucker with two minutes 50 on the clock as the two teams make their way back towards the middle of the field once again. From power bound to get it underway once more. So Hyde just quickly changing on Werner Swerty as the ball gets bowled into play. Into play it is Hyde just has a stab at it, couldn't take it, it's now left for Monteverdi. Monteverdi on the ball here now. Monteverdi straightens it up, threads that one through. See if he can get this one up here for Benoit. Here it comes up onto the near side of the ball here. Couldn't get the next shot off, it leaves it now for Hyde. Hyde takes it onto the stick side, goes up past Pato on this one here now. Hyde, Hyde, Hyde going forward here once again. Hyde, Hyde avoiding the play, gets ridden off out of it there and Pato scoops the backhand out of that one there. But I think we get a whistle on the play. So Benoit quickly changing on Alibaba. Tito quickly hopping off and changing as well. And Lucas Monteverdi just circles around this one and puts another one on the board there for the UAE. The UAE go five goals with Idris still out there by one goal. Six goals it is to Idris. Five goals to the UAE. So the two teams here line up now on umpire Bowen. Bam, bowls the ball in. Looking for it on the front there, but it's now going to be Benoit. Leaves it now for Lucas. Lucas, Lucas checks up on the play. Lucas goes under the neck with this one here. Looks to set that one up for Hyde. Hyde comes onto it. Just loses a bit of momentum, but comes onto the play here. Stabbing himself on the line. Flicks that one away beautifully there from Pierre-Henri. Lovely play by the young man, but he gets hooked off out of it. He still managed to keep control of this ball. He's got 18 goals swarming all over him, and he's still managing to come away with it. But this time he couldn't do so. As Pato Neves circles back round, and we get a whistle on the play.
So the ball gets teed up here now by Lucas Monteverdi for a penalty for the UAE. Looking to tie the scores up here now. So Lucas Monteverdi up here now for this 30 yard penalty. Lucas, he drives, he shoots, he puts that one away. The flags are off, so we've got a match on our hands here once again, ladies and gentlemen. We had a nail-biter in this first match. We could be in for another one here now. Six goals apiece it is here in the fourth chucker. We're just under a minute to play before the first two to goes. Bye bam, bows the ball in, ball gets balled into play. Looking for it there is Tito. Tito gets half hooked off out of it, but Tito gets ridden off out of it this time by, by Hyde once more. Scurrying back onto it. Hyde, Hyde goes up, goes up on the near side, couldn't get it, but the backhand comes in by Tito. Tito goes backhand this time as far as Benoit, Benoit, his backhand gets stopped by Tito. Tito on the move here once more. Tito is Ginazu on the rampage here now. Tito is Ginazu. Tito gets, doesn't get the hook in. Does Lucas flicks onto the near side, goes on the leg once more, sends this one into the wall of the goal, but it cooks it and over past the goal it goes and out over the back line. And there goes the Hooter, ladies and gentlemen, with the score being six goals apiece here at the end of the fourth chucker, with it all to play for in the fifth and possibly final chucker. In this fifth chucker, we'll have Sultan Idris to come out on Manchita, Pato, possibly to come back out on Masai, Pionri on Get Black, Tito on Gondola, Maitha to come out on Baza, Jack, possibly on Dollar Immaculata, he wasn't quite sure he was going to be playing in the last chucker. Matthias, we never know who's going to play in the last chapter, but I guess it will be, be got on. And Lucas Monteverdi will possibly be coming yeah. back out on Lucius or maybe Torta.
So the two teams coming back out of the field here now, and you see Lucas Monteverdi coming back on Lucius. The little Norman Pentacord mare bred by Jim Gilmore out there at Elliston in Australia. So Lucas Monteverdi brings the ball back into play. Lucas comes up past his marker on that one there. Lucas looks to turn back inside Tito. Unloads a good shot up here. Again, this one up to the young man Hyde. Hyde up on the ball here now. Pionri cutting back on Get Black. It is. Checks up on the play. Goes to the one-time shot. Looks to send that one up the front door there for Shaker Mather once again. Shaker Mather. Before she can get there, though, the little backhand comes in and we get a whistle on the play. Uh, looks like we have a penalty now in favour of the UAE. We drop down on the 40-yard line for Lucas Monteverdi to tee up here now for the UAE to try and get out into the lead. three here, a 40-yard penalty to be taken by Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas, he drives, he shoots, it's a beautiful one straight over the top and clean through the middle it is and out into the lead, the UAE go for the first time in this match, seven goals and it's the UAE, six goals to Idris. So once more back to the middle of the field on umpire Bowen. Two teams just quickly changing ends. Bowen bowls the ball in. Through the line out it comes. Lucas comes off with this one here, but the backhand comes in in front of Jack Hyde. In front of Jack Hyde that was. Tina is going to And this one's been moved up, it looks like, for a penalty for a 60-yard penalty at the other end this time now for Lucas Monteverdi. To tee this ball up once more. Lucas Monteverdi circling around here now on Lucius once more. Lucas, he drives, he shoots, it's over the top, but it looks like that one's gone wide to the left, wide to the left, it is, so no goal, the score remains the same. Seven goals to the UAE, six goals it is to Idris, and the ball's placed on the back line. For Tito is going to do, and Idris to ring back into play once more. Tito. Taps it forward. We've got five minutes 40 on the clock here. Goes under the neck here, looking to set that one up for Pato. Pato out there, just checks up in his play on Masai. Goes with a big driving shot, sends it up, ricochets off the pony, but only as far as the backhand there for Benoit. Benoit sends it in, but there's nobody home there apart from Pato. Pato comes in, makes a turning play on it once more. Pato, Pato brings the ball forward. Sends Tito out there in front of him. In comes Lucas, trying to make a spoiling play on that one there, and he does. He managed to get the backhand in, and it's just plucked out the air there by Pierre Henry, having yielded off it. Is Hyde, and it is Pierre Henry on Get Black going to work here now. Pierre Henry, Pierre Henry, Pierre Henry sends that ball up here now for T leads it now for Tito. Tito goes with the driving shot, puts that one up the front door, but it's only as far as Benoit, and he flicks that one underneath. Batten of Ez gets called off it, leaves it now for Monteverdi. No, he picks it up once again, turns back inside on the play, gets a long way under that ball, looks over his shoulder to see where Pierre Henry is. Pierre Henry comes in on contention there, checks up on the play, goes to work. Once more, does Benoit, Benoit threads that one through into the middle of the field here, looking to pick this one up here, and on the near side play, we have it picked up there by Tito Rizkinazu, Rizkinazu on the ball, Rizkinazu just checks that one inside, Hyde, Hyde picks this one up, takes it forward, Hyde, Hyde looks to come inside, 
But unfortunately, the ball ricochets off the pony there. The backhand by Benoit only goes so far high, comes in on the spoiling play, but we get a whistle on the play. So let's see what the umpire's going to say with this one, with that ball changing lines quite frantically. Fionri already believes it should be a penalty up for him. Up there at the 60-yard line, but let's see what the umpires say. They're going to the third man here. Just going through the replay. No, no foul. No foul, no foul. And the result of that, there will be a throw in. No foul is to be given on that play. So the ball will be bowled in from the inside out here now on umpire Bowen. We'll line the two teams up. Umpire yeah. Bowen just looking for a little bit of a gap, just a little bit of barging going on in there. Looking for that little channel to bowl that ball in. The ball gets bowled into play. Out it comes here now. It looks like we have Pato Neves. Neves, Neves on the ball. Neves juggling the ball in the air, keeping this ball moving forward. Neves in comes Hyde. Hyde comes in to make a spoiling play. Couldn't get the ball off him this time, but Neves goes to work here now. Neves and Monteverdi goes to the next shot. Couldn't get it off there. And the shot comes in there by Tito. Tito comes in, but in comes Lucas Monteverdi just to clear it away there for the UAE once more. Out towards the boards on the far side of the field here now. It is Lucas. Lucas takes his ball off the boards here now. Lucas. Lucas Monteverdi drives that ball up the field here, up the front door it is out there for Hyde. Hyde comes up onto this one here now, Hyde on the ball. Hyde has to check on a play just to correct himself in that play there, leaves that one behind, it just skews off on an angle here now for Tito. Tito comes onto it, carries that one out towards the ball, it's being pressurised there by Monteverdi. Looks to come in, Monteverdi just rides him off out of the play, comes onto the boards with the ball here, turns away from Monteverdi on this one here now, does Tito in the red helmet on the far side there. Tito is going to Tito, Tito on the move, Tito and Monteverdi. Tito, on gondola, Tito, Tito leaves that one behind and Pato left it behind as well. Who's going to be first round of this one? Looks like it's going to be Hyde. Hyde gets round to Makilala. Hyde on the move here now. Hyde sends that one in towards the goal, but unfortunately it looks like it's just gone wide. So tick-tock goes that Morris Grossman clock and the score is seven goals to UEE. Six goals is to Idris. And... Just under three minutes left to go as Tito Rizkinazu circles round. Let's come bring the ball back into play for Idris. Hi, just quickly changing on to Buenos Suerte. As Tito Rizkinazu brings his ball back into play once more. He goes with the driving shot, goes with himself on this time. Does Tito Rizkinazu. Reckons he's got the horse in on the other and off he goes on the move here now. He's been shut down though. There by Lucas Monteverdi. Picks the ball up from behind him here. Picks the bouncing ball up once more. He's got Benoit to try and get up past Benoit. Rides him off out of the play. Plays the backhand. Clear it away once more there. And quickly round onto this one here. Looks like it's going to be Hyde. Hyde comes onto the play here now. Hyde. Clearing it up there for the UE once more. Settling down the frantic play is Hyde. In comes Pionri. Steals it off him on the stick side. Pionri settles down on the play. Turns the play in front of the old bundle of oncoming players. It is once again. Hyde comes in with a ride off on that one there. And we get a whistle on the play. Oh, Tito opting to go and quickly change ponies. As is... Pato Neves, Benoit, and also we have Lucas Monteverdi changing as well. However, we have a penalty being teed up here now by Idris, looking to tie the scores up here, and it is a penalty three. It looks like a 40-yard penalty here now for Idris.
So Tidra is going to just quickly having changed ponies on to French Knight. However, it is going to be Pionri on Get Black to take the penalty here now. He drives, he shoots, it's along the ground, they're trying to stop him, but no, it's not possible, and the ball goes through the goals, it carries on through, seven goals apiece it is, and less than two minutes left to play here in this match. So, Lucas Monteverdi back onto Torta. Sampar Baron line these two teams up, just... Close the whistle just to stop the clock. The clock stopped at 1 minute 28 left to go. Seven goals apiece. Just like the last chucker. If we're still tied, we will play that extra 30 seconds and Pierre Henry asked to go and change ponies, but if you get black, he's a little bit sore. So, looks like he's just calling for Pulga. So we'll just have a quick pause in play here now. That's the only just opts to go and change ponies. So there's the full bowl back into play once again. First shot of this is going to be Neves. Neves on the move here now. Pat on Neves. Pat on Neves. Pat on Neves. Pat on Neves just over the 60 yard line here now. Going back is Hyde. Battle, Pato over the top of that one there. Couldn't get it. Hyde can't get it, but the ball still travelling towards the goal. Can he save that one? And Lucas Monteverdi clearing away there right from the goal mouth. On the line it was. And it is now Benoit. Benoit, he knows he's got Tito there. Leaves it now for Lucas Monteverdi. Monteverdi on the ball here now. Lucas Monteverdi drives that one up here. Trying to pick this ball up on the near side there will be hide but we get a whistle on the play So the ball's teed up here now for a penalty in favour of Idris just inside their half. 54 seconds left to play before the first Huda goes. Tito. Onto the ball here now. Taps it the once. Comes away with the ball here. Goes back the other way once more. Tito is going to zoo. Looking to mount an attack from here now. Tito checks up on the play. Tito comes up inside Hyde on this one here. Tito. Tito goes to work. Gets hooked off out of it by Hyde. The ball just flicks on forward. Hyde just goes this one away. Trying to get onto it. There's it's been Benoit clearing it away under the neck. But we get a whistle on the play.
have seven goals apiece and the whistle's gone. Which way? What is going to happen with this penalty here now? And the ball has been dropped down here for a penalty in favour of Idris to be teed up there by Tito Rizginazu. And it looks like we have Pionri just to walk up to this one here now. Pionri drives, he shoots, it goes in towards the goal and through the goal it is. That's eight goals to Idris, it is seven goals to the UAE. It's the two teams trying to make their way back to the middle of the field. Well, by a bound to bowl this ball in once more. And that Morris Grossman clock. Tick-tock, down it goes. Some umpire Bowne just lines these two teams up here now. Bowne bowls the ball into play, into play it is. Coming off with it here once more is Benoit. Benoit picks this one up here now. Benoit comes up and we get a foul on the play, a foul on the play. Watch out, hold your seats, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two seconds on the clock. It needs turning back to five seconds to exact the penalty, I believe it'll be. So the ball's placed down there on the 60-yard line for Lucas Monteverdi on Torta. Lucas, he drives, he shoots, it's looking like it's in in one and straight through it is and through the goals it is and we have eight apiece here now ladies and gentlemen you've got to get back to the middle to throw the ball in we've still got 30 seconds left to play So the two teams line up here now on umpire bow and the ball gets bowled into play and it is Hyde onto that one there. Hyde flicks it up there but it is Idris comes onto it. It is Hyde once again trying to get onto it. In comes Monteverdi trying to get onto it but Hyde comes away. And there it is ladies and gentlemen that ends the chucker. Chucker number five is over and the goal is all goals are all even. Eight goals apiece it is. So we'll be back here now for chucker number six golden goal. Out here comes Mohamed, Mohamed Abdul, Mohamed just avoiding the hook there from Torreira. Picks it up on the near side, Torreira optic for the misplay. But Mohamed's going goal abound here now. Mohamed Abdul, Mohamed Abdul, Mohamed Abdul takes his ball all the way. Mohamed Abdul quick off that line out and there's a flash, he's in there. The first goal on the ball there goes to Abdul Polo. Leaving that ball now for Gato Gandara. Gato Gandara sends that one up here now, tries to get this one up for Pablo. Pablo just loses a bit of momentum, he tucks in behind the play there of Negro. Off he goes here now, Pablo with Donis, his 10 goals, looking for a little bit more onto this one here. Called off the players, so Dan leaving it now for Pablo. Pablo looking to put this one away, plays a beautiful driving shot, that's the first one on the ball there for Zidane. Other off leaving the ball now for... Pablo, Pablo plays the backhand, up the boards comes now for Pelagio, Pelagio goes with a one-time shot, sends it up a little bit further, ball not quick, quite kindly sitting for him, this time he gets the shot off here now, looks like Gato Gandara is going to come onto this one here, Gato, Gato comes on, goes with the next shot, sends this one in towards the goal and slips another one away there, for Chavan, goes up past Chavan on this one here. Does Monteverdi, Monteverdi on the move here now, Monteverdi just up over the halfway line but has to check up because the ball's just lofted up into the air, lost his momentum on that one.
down there, but he drives it further up, trying to set this one up behind. Hyde up the front door there. Hyde and the Vicious Strada. Hyde and the Vicious Strada. He gets a bit of a swipe at that one, but couldn't quite get it. Looks to the backhand, but it comes off the pony and it towards the goal. It goes. It's sitting there dead. It's death, deathly. There it is. And Benoit finishes it off. Ball up towards his marker. The four wheelers out. He sends the driving shot, puts it up the middle here now. Looking for that one there. He's ricochets off a bit of a pony there. Couldn't quite get onto it. Is it is that looking? Uh, sorry, it was Estrada trying to get onto it, but it's Torres Avaleta. Torres Avaleta on the move here now. Torres Avaleta. It comes. Estrada. Avoids the hook there. Does Torres Avaleta leaving the ball now for Guillermo. Forming the train. At the back of the line, line there was Guillermo. DJ coming forward with it here now. DJ. DJ allowed to go to work. You see the players just being held off the plate. Goes with a big neck shot in towards the goal. It's looking good from here. It's looking very good indeed. A lovely neck shot goal there. From Guillermo continues. Estrada goes forward here. Avoiding the hooking hook off. Hyde working hard. Here's the vision Estrada. This time gets hooked off out of it. The pony puts it forward with that. Sindra Sindra comes up to this one and gives it a good thump up the field here now. Looking as we first onto this one. But it looks like it's going to be Monteverdi. Monteverdi just pushing the vision Estrada out wide on this one here. Comes back onto it. Couldn't get the play he was looking for, but it's going to be Isidro. Isidro and Hyde together. Breaks a turning play across the field. Back out towards the board to this. Isidro. Isidro goes back. Trying to get back towards the goal. Trying to face up towards goal. Isidro gets hooked off out of it there. Gets his ball a little bit further forward on the near side. Isidro goes into that one there and puts it through. Seven goals apiece it is here in the fifth chucker with just over three minutes left to play. Ball for the play. Gets a bit of that. Zama gets blocked in his play. Gato Gavidara once again. Gato on the ball. Gato. Gato. Trying to get forward, trying to make good space. Goes the other way, coming in behind. To form the trail it is Pablo. Pablo sends the ball, threads it through there. Trying to set unleash. Berezadi. Berezadi goes with a very acute next cut shot indeed and puts another one away there. For Zidane, eight goals in his to Zidane. Five goals now. Rodoli sends a good driving shot out there towards the clubhouse side once again. Up goes the scurry of white shirts in the form. First onto this one is going to be Ferreira. Ferreira bounces the ball off the boards. Ferreira keeps his ball moving forward. Checks up enough on, on the play. Looking to keep this ball in play. He goes again and he gets runs up past Pelagio Berazzari. Roquero and it is Ferreira. Ferreira coming around the corner in towards goal. Ferreira, Ferreira, Ferreira just got past goal. Has to cut this one back in towards the goal. And Ferreira just puts another beautiful goal away there for Bindry. Bindry. So Pablo brings the ball into play. Pablo. Pablo. Taps it forward once again. He's got Canelo there. Goes one way, goes the other way. Keeps moving forward. Looking to unsight Canelo, giving himself the opportunity. A little bit of a break here now. He's on the move. Is the man Pablo? Pablo goes up fast. Terrera on this one here. Look at these two horses run. You've got Homeless and Roquero. He checks up the dummy. Then he goes on the move here once again. Pablo. Pablo so the two teams to going back out on the field to play here now. The field to get here now. this sixth chucker underway. Golden goal. It'll goal be. That is why he's 10 goals. That is why he's triple crown winner consecutively. Four times won the triple crown. Pablo. 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 Goes on the move here now on this little man, fellow man Pablo, who's yeah. passed a couple of players already. Pablo, giving his bouncing ball, moving, showing he, what he could do with it out here. Pablo cuts him between two players, picks up near side. So two teams are lined up here now. On a, umpire right, umpire right, bowls the ball into play, into play it is. And it comes away. Tito sends that one under the neck here. Lucas Mondaverdi comes in with the backhand, the backhand comes in on that one there. And it's only as far as Pionri. The pressure's put on him there by Hyde. Hyde comes onto this one in early. It looks like it is going to be Hyde. We'll flick onto this one here now. Hyde sends that one up there for Benoit. Benoit, can he get to this one in time? It looks like it's going to get too far back. The backhand comes in there by Pablo Neves, but the ball goes wide. <coughs> Pablo Neves possibly just hooked out off the play. And the ball carrying out over the back line, giving possession here now to Tito Rizguzu and Idris. Tito on the ball here now, Tito. Goes with the driving shot, looks to unload Pato Neves once more. Looks to unload Pato, Pato out there with Benoit. Pato goes with the driving shot, Pato sends it up there here once more. Pato and Benoit, Pato on the move, Pato, Pato's going here. This is Neves, 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 oh, he leaves that one behind, it's going to trickle wide. Oh. So the ball's placed down here now on the back line once more. It's time for Lucas to bring back in. Lucas Monteverdi. 
Lucas taps his ball forward, keeps it short, looking up to see where Tito is. Brings the ball up to Tito here now. Lucas goes under the neck with this one here, looking to set that up once more. But it looks like Benoit and Neves. Neves couldn't get the backhand off. Easy for Benoit on this one here now. Benoit on the move here now. Mathias Benoit drives that one in towards the goal here. Benoit. Benoit on the ball here now. Benoit, Benoit, can he can scoop this one away? Benoit comes goalward bound. Benoit, and it goes wide. What are these boys doing? So once more, the ball's on the back line for Tito to bring in again for Idris. Tito, taps the ball forward. Out there to Monteverdi, unleashes one here now, pushes it wide out here, trying to get this one up once more to Benoit, but to Pato, but Benoit gets a little bit of backhand, it scurries off the pony, comes in with the right off to Benoit, sends a little backhand in towards, or in towards the boards onto this one here now. Hyde comes up on the ball, flicks that ball forward here, and it is now Pionri, Pionri, Pionri gets hooked off out of the play here, gets stolen there by Hyde, Hyde on the move here, Hyde tucks back inside once again, Hyde, Chris Hyde, Jack Hyde, Jack Hyde, on the ball, gets ridden off out of it there, leaves the ball behind, no, he still retains possession, this ball, he's got 18 goals all around him and he leaves it now for Lucas Monteverdi, Monteverdi flicks it away, Monteverdi on the move here now, Monteverdi going goalward bound Monteverdi, in comes Hyde to look after Tito, Monteverdi Monteverdi, Benoit here to look after Neves, Neves comes in to try and wreak some destru destruction in there, then the backhand comes in there once again but Hyde comes back to clear it up once more, Hyde Hyde comes round, checks up, comes back inside, flicks it away this time sends it up now for Monteverdi once more, no Hyde Hyde's on the move once more. Hyde's still going with the ball. Ricochet's off the pony here. And who's going to be onto this one here? And it looks like Monteverdi. But we get a whistle on the play. And Tito is going to do just dismounts. Tito is um, a pony, just a little bit lame. Poor little French knight, taking a bit of a knocker of tread in there. Yes, Jack Hyde, quickly changing ponies as well. Had an outstanding game here this afternoon as this young Englishman. So just have another slight pause in play. Well, Tito gets himself sorted out. The worst moment to not to have. Huh? Tito, Tito bringing on the ball. Tito sends it out wide here now, trying to set up Neves, but first onto this one once again is going to be Benoit. Benoit on the ball. Benoit makes a turning play, looking to straighten this one up here for the UAE. Benoit drags this one forward, flicks it forward once more. Benoit looking to see if he can find a way through this wall of black shirts known as Idris and hides onto it. Now he gets hooked off out of it, but Hyde scoops this one forward once more. The backhand comes in there by Pierre Henry. First round onto it once more, though, is Benoit. Benoit on the ball, Benoit flicks it forward on the near side, gets a bit of a bump and a shove behind the saddle there, but it's all right because Hyde's in there to help him out. Hyde plays the open backhand there, but there's no white shirts, there's only Sultan Idris to clear it up, he gets called off it there now by Pierre-Henri, Pierre-Henri scurries this one out towards the side, Benoit working hard on the near side, pushes him clear of the play, leaves it now for Monteverdi, Monteverdi on the play, Monteverdi turns to face goal here once more. Tito just has to yield off out of the play there now. 
Monteverdi on the move. Monteverdi. Monteverdi leaves the ball now for Benoit. Benoit goes with the driving shot. Looks to send this one up here now for Monteverdi. Sends it in. Monteverdi looks to keep this in play, but unfortunately it beats him out over the back line. So Tito Iskinazu brings it back into play once again. Tito goes to the driving shot, looking to sell at Neves once more. Neves being covered there by Benoit. Gets ridden off out of that play there. Benoit comes up on the ball there with Neves. Picks his ball up here or tries to. They both yield off it, leaving it now for Monteverdi. Monteverdi turns the play back inside. A big hooking play comes in there by Neves, but he just gets hooked off out of it there. Leaves it now for Monteverdi once more. Monteverdi tries to jink one way, it goes the other way. Monteverdi's going to have to go to work here now. Monteverdi. Monteverdi on the move once more. Monteverdi just keeps flicking this ball forward all the time. Monteverdi walking this ball up the field here now. He's going to have to make a move on this one quickly here as he just gets blocked in his passage there by Neves. Falls his ball backwards, goes with a shot, sends this one in towards the goal. It gets met there by Tito. Tito's ball doesn't meet that one cleanly. First round onto his hide, 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 puts this one away. And Jack Hyde puts one away. But maybe we have a whistle on the play. We have a whistle. So it looks like Hyde, in his desperation to get round with that one, was just impeding one of the Idris players. So we have the ball brought back into play by Tito. Tito is going to do. Tito. Tito tucks back the other way here now. Tito goes on the move. Tito with Monteverdi. Sends, sent that one up now for Neves. Neves just checks up in the play. Hyde goes back with him as well. Hyde and Neves. Hyde and Neves. Hyde gets the better of the ride off there. Plays a good backhand there. Picks it back into play. Trying to come onto this one here is Pierre Henri. But as he does, we've got Lucas Monteverdi behind him. We get a whistle on the play. So Lucas Monteverdi tees the ball up here, just inside his half. Fifty-eight seconds left on the clock in this sixth chucker. Will we have to widen these goals, I wonder? As Lucas Monteverdi goes with a big diving shot, looks to send this back to uh, Tito, half cuts this out of it here and onto it quickly there, it's going to be Benoit, Benoit onto the ball, Benoit, Benoit goes forward here now and P Pionri backs it out there towards the ball, there's a bit of confusion there in the Idris camp but is now Hyde onto the ball, Hyde, Hyde has time, checks, turns, makes the play, Hyde comes round onto this one, but we get a whistle on the play. So what are the umpires going to make out of this one here now? And it looks like we're going to have a throw in. Possibly Tito got injured in that play for earlier on. Thirty-six seconds left on the clock before the first two to go. Umpire Baron lines these two teams up here now. Just wait, just looking for a little bit of a gap. Someone to bowl the ball in. The ball's back into play once again. Back into play it is. Tito comes off with this on the back of the line out. Tito comes home with the next shot. Tito sends this one up here, but there's a flurry of white shirts going back there for the OAE. Lucas Monteverdi on the ball. Lucas Monteverdi turns the play here now. Lucas comes on the neck here now. Lucas. Lucas once again. Lucas. He's got Pato just waiting for him there. Goes up past Pato on that one there. Straightens this one up here now. Lucas Monteverdi going goal bound, but Pato's coming back hard at him. Lucas Monteverdi. Lucas Monteverdi. 
but he doesn't manage to get that one away. He gets hooked away from it, and the ball goes through there by Benoit. Running out the winners, the UAE. Nine goals to the UAE. Eight goals to Idris. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two amazing matches here you've had this afternoon, and we look forward to seeing you on Monday for the subsidiary finals, on Tuesday for the main semi finals, and then next Friday for the main finals of the Julius Baer Gold Cup 2016.